Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse, and in today's segment, I want to show you how to fly with your firearm, with your pistol specifically, okay? So for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I travel all around the country, and everywhere I go, I go armed, to the teeth. So a lot of you are probably interested in knowing how to do this because you're either anticipating going somewhere and you want to bring your pistol with you. Rifle's a different story. Pistol's what I'm going to focus on in this particular video. Okay, so what you see here is an assortment of different things and I'm going to go over basically what you need to fly with a firearm and how this process works okay because I do this pretty much every other weekend what you first need is a hard-sided container that is going to allow you two spaces for non TSA locks okay a hard-sided container with spaces either provided that way or you drilled them that way to hold non-TSA locks. And when I say non-TSA locks, I'm talking like a master lock or it brings these types of locks right here, these things. Okay, just the cheapo two pack that you get at Walmart for like $9, that'll do just fine. So what you need to know is that there are your standard TSA requirements for flying with a checked firearm. The only way you're gonna be able to get a firearm loaded on board is if you're deputized and you've got some police credentials, it's, it's pretty freaking difficult. So for flying with a checked firearm, you have your TSA specific regulations and then you have airline specific regulations, okay? Now for your TSA flying with a checked firearm, a checked pistol, all that you have to have is the pistol that is unloaded, okay? An unloaded pistol and the magazines are separate. Officially for Delta Airlines, which is what I fly a lot, you're supposed to have your ammunition in its original uh, in its original case, which in this case is federal HSTs. What you need to do whenever you get your stuff ready, unload your firearm, okay, unload it, and I just keep the, slot, the slide locked back to the rear. Have your magazines here. I've laid them out so that you can see. Have your magazines separate. If you want to actually unpack your stuff and put it in the little styrofoam containers inside here, you can do that. However, in doing this for almost four years, I have never had anybody do that. Just bring your original box and shove your magazines in the box. Um, but be prepared if somebody throws a little fit that you may have to unload every single one and put them in the little styrofoam containers. What you cannot have is loose ammunition flying around everywhere in here. They, they don't particularly look kindly to that, okay? And in this case, of course, I have my, my holster or my, my setup, which is a can-can, and I'll put a link uh, to the can-can, the how I run my everyday carry in the video up here. As far as putting everything together here, make sure that you've got your pistol unloaded and you've got your ammunition here separate. One thing that you're gonna notice here is that this is a really big case and you might ask to yourself okay well does this pistol have to be by itself in a locked hard sided container with non TSA locks no no it does not which offers you a specific benefit if you are traveling with really expensive stuff like I don't know photography equipment or things that you'd rather not everybody and their brother have access to the thing is when you are traveling with a checked firearm these locks right here only get unlocked in your presence. There is none of this, and I don't care what they tell you at the airport, you never hand that key to somebody for them to take behind an area where you do not have 100% visual access to this bad boy at all times. You are the one who supplies that key, okay? I'm, in all of my years in doing this, I've only had one person, and I actually do not remember which airport it was, I've only had one TSA agent who gave me hell about this, and I reported him for it, okay? There is no time when this bad boy goes behind a place where you cannot see and you furnish them with that key to the firearm. It does not happen. It always has to be unlocked in your presence. Furthermore, there cannot be any visually identifying stickers or anything on top of that case, okay? Nothing to say, here I'm a firearm, come steal me. It does not work that way, okay? They are never supposed to put any stickers or anything visually identifying this as a firearm on the outside, okay? So there's a lot of benefits, actually, to traveling with a checked firearm. By the way, it doesn't have to be an actual firearm. This can be a Sims gun, this can be a blue gun, it can be a flare gun. It's actually really cool. So if you're traveling with a lot of stuff you don't want to get stolen, travel with a locked, non-TSA locked, hard-sided container with a gun in it and nobody can have access to it except you. When this goes through, okay, this is something you have to consider. When you're bringing this up to the airport, okay, you are going to 
at least with Delta, this is who I fly with, what you're going to have to do is you need to walk up to the desk and say to them, okay, I have a firearm declaration, please, or I need a firearm declaration, please. It's not a huge deal, okay? Just don't do this in states like uh, uh, New York, <laughs> NYC, JFK, they're not going to thank you for that. In fact, you may end up going out of there in handcuffs, so make sure that you're following all the state regulations, okay, and the laws that basically tell you you're a slave. Anyway, um, when you go up to the desk, I have a firearm declaration, please, and they will give you, at least with Delta, this is what I get, this little card, okay, and they'll have you sign it and the date basically says, hey, there's a firearm on board, and what you have to do is open the case and show the attendant there that it is indeed an unloaded firearm and that you're fully TSA compliant, etc., and you put your your firearm declaration on top of the, the, the gun, okay, and in some cases they may tape it up there, but usually they just want you to put it on the gun, you lock the case here with your non-TSA locks, okay, like this, lock, lock, I'm not going to lock this so I can get back in here, but I'm pretty sure you guys know how to actually lock a master lock, okay, um, and then you're good to go. What they do is they say, hey, we want you to hang around here while we wheel this or you wheel this over to the TSA so that you can be here with us with the key in case we need to check in here, and if you're flying out of, for instance, Seattle, um, you may end up having to wait about an hour and a half. Seattle is the is the the place that I have always had to wait the longest for of all of the airports that I go in and out of. Okay, but the key here is that you have to have a locked hard sided container with non TSA locks. All right, non TSA locks. The places that people get their firearms stolen yours truly included, the places where people get their firearms stolen is if they have a little tiny handgun case that they've put a little lock on and they shove that inside of a larger bag with a TSA lock on it. In my particular case, the TSA and whoever in the netherworld that lived behind there decided they're going to cut the lock off my case and they were going to steal it from the inside and that's exactly what they did. So a Pelican case like this, and I'll put a link in the description box to these things, they're great. Um, I have battered this thing all over the world for I think probably four years at this point. My handle just finally broke now and the Pelican company just sent me a brand new one that I just have to put on here. So it's a good company and they insure their products. This is a, a marvelous um, case and I'll tell you the good thing for me is that if I'm traveling with for instance you know the expensive equipment that's necessary in many cases to you know do our jobs, I can put in the case with my gun the other stuff that I don't want to get stolen, okay? But the key take-homes here are that your gun, your pistol has to be unloaded. This isn't that hard, guys, and it's not like, oh, a scary thing. It's just the way that you need to do stuff, all right? So your pistol, okay, has to be unloaded, all right? And you need to have your magazines, okay? Ideally, you need to have your magazines secured. If you want to bring the, the box, the original box for the ammunition, then just stick your mags in there. Um, and if they don't like that, which I've never had that happen in years, then, you know, just put it in the, the original container. That's the official, this is how you're supposed to do this. Always put your ammunition in the original container and everything is supposed to be empty. Uh, but like I said, I've never had anybody give me any trouble over it. I just shove my magazines inside the box here with the, the original ammunition, okay? Now, each airline is going to have certain limits as to how much ammunition can you take and this, that, and the other. That you need to check on, on their particular website, okay, because Delta is different than US Air, which is different than American Airlines, and this, that, and the other, so make sure that you're, you're checking that out. Read over the regulations for each of your individual airlines, okay, because some of them are going to have stricter stringencies as to what they require, okay? But the long and short of this, this is actually really easy. You just need a locked, hard-sided container, okay, with non-TSA locks. And the times when you're liable to get pushback from people, um, and I've only had it once um, from, actually, I think it was uh, Kansas City, where I had a, a, an agent just really be an asshole about things. But um, unloaded firearm, okay? with your ammunition secure and separate, no loose ammunition, secure and separate, okay, with the original um, container here, but it does not have to be alone by itself. In fact, that's part of the benefit of flying with a checked firearm is that you can shove in here the things that you don't want people rifling through, and you are the only one who has access to this thing, okay? You are the only one who can unlock this bad boy. At no time are you to give a key to an agent who's going behind closed doors where you lose sight of this thing. It, you have to be in visual contact every 
every time this thing is being opened, okay, at all times. You never, ever, ever give that key to anybody. And if they give you hell about it, then you get your name and their name and their number and you report the hell out of them because uh, it's a major, major violation. At no time can this thing um, be in the hands of somebody who it's not authorized to be in, which is part of the benefit of carrying it, right? Because you can secure your stuff in there. So that's how you travel with a checked firearm with a checked pistol. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe to me, Patriot Nurse, and also like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. And for now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off. I'll see you guys later. Bye.